Hey everybody, hope you're doing good. I am back in the studio again and I have been inspired by Melly D. And I saw one of her beautiful pours. It was a tree ring pour. And so I decided I was going to kind of try to do it the way she did. A different recipe. I, I normally use one to one ratio of paint to flow trawl or OA trawl. Today I am not using that. So this is something different. And I do own Liquitex pouring medium. And um, I didn't really know how much to use, so I just kind of winged it on that part. I would say I put at least a tablespoon or so in the, probably two tablespoons or so in the white. I have a yellow ochre that I probably put a tablespoon in metallic bronze, probably a tablespoon, and I mixed Prussian blue with a little bit of phthalo green in it in here and probably put a tablespoon in there. And then I added a significant amount of water to get it to the perfect consistency because I think, you know, consistency is key in it being very fluid but not watery. So I added way more water than I typically do. But this white is a mixture of Artist Loft and the Deco Art America, uh, Americana Decor Satin. And it's uh, the white color. And she said this was kind of key in what made it do what it did, which was kind of a cloudy effect. I probably won't get the same effect, but I'm going for it if I can. So that's Artist Loft White and Deco Art Satin Enamel White. Artist Loft Yellow Ochre, Metallic Bronze, Thalo Green, just a little bit with Academy Acrylic Prussian Blue, which I think I got at Hobby Lobby. I wanted to try, she used a green, all Thalo Green. I try, I'm try. i going to try with the blue just to make it a little bit different. I've got an 11 by 14 canvas I'm going to use, which is right here. And the chart says I need five ounces of paint to cover it. And so I'm going to pour one cup first and then the other one. And she kind of did a tree ring pour and then she let it, you know, bleed off. And then she did another tree ring pour on top of it. So that's my plan as well. So this one is I think nine ounces. So I probably want a little over half of this cup filled up and then I'm going to probably ha do about half of this seven cup, seven ounce cup. I did want to show you, I had poured on cardstock the other day. I had done a dip, you know, where you dip it and this is what happens. And this, so this is cardstock, so it's kind of like cardboard. It did curl, but it didn't move that much. I was kind of surprised. So you can kind of bend it back out. So I could put these in picture frames. I could even paint something on top of it if I wanted to. So just on cardstock, six inch squares. I also have a 12 by 12 inch panel and I was trying to decide if I wanted to do it on the 12 inch panel or on the 11 by 14. So I think I'm going to do the 11 by 14 and just go with it. So here we go.
So I got way more than I need in the cup, that's for sure. So again, 11 by 14, I've got push pins on the back. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. So you can see kind of up close. She did not add silicone or anything like that, neither did I, and um, she didn't torch it or anything, so I'm just going to let it sit for a few minutes and then I'll tilt it. She didn't do anything to her canvas beforehand. I think she worked on a little bit smaller canvas than the 11 by 14. I'm not sure. But I know that she had less paint than I did. I mixed up more paint, so I may have put too much paint on the canvas, but I'm going to also do another tree ring on top of it, so that's going to be the interesting part, unless I really am digging what happens with this first. And I just, she did this kind of in a circular pattern instead of tilting to one side or the other like immediately. So I'm trying to do that as well. Because I loved, I loved the outcome of her pour and I really wanted to see if I could achieve anything even kind of close. So it definitely has a, a cloudy kind of effect, which I do like that look. When I've looked at people's pores that had that cloudy effect, it was like, how did you do that? So I think the key maybe is some pouring medium and lots of water. And I wanted that Prussian blue to be kind of taken over. I didn't want it to be deep. I wanted it to be very kind of ethereal looking. So that worked as far as the overall beginning look. That's pretty much what hers looked like. So at least I'm halfway there. So 
So I think I'm just going to go ahead and use the same cup I had before. And this is going to be less paint, but I'm just going to pour it in the middle and that it's going to be kind of spread over the existing one. So I'm going to start this time with the blue. I still have way too much paint, so this is just an experiment to see if I can achieve this look. So a tree ring on top of a tree ring. I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes. Be patient with it. This is really pretty though. It's very soft and ethereal looking. While I'm waiting on this, just for a few more minutes, I'm going to do a quick, I'm going to put one drop that was more than a drop, it came out pretty fast, but that was OGX. So I want to just do a little dirty pour. with this beautiful Prussian blue. I've got a piece of cardboard here and a piece of contact paper with the shiny side up. So what I'm going to do is do my flip cup on this contact paper. I'm going to heat this. I'm 
and I'm going to try to keep it on the contact paper and not go over the edge. I got the tape on it though, but that Prussian blue is just really vivid and beautiful. So apparently this white enamel paint from De uh, Americana, Deco Art Americana, it causes a lot of this kind of cell buildup and reaction, which is kind of cool. But I also put in OGX, so you never know if it's the OGX doing it or, or what, but that's pretty. I'm going to let this dry the way it is. Okay. I may have put too much gold in there. I'm not sure. So I'm letting a significant amount drop off. I think I'm going to leave it like that. I think what will happen is the white will continue to rise is what she was saying. We'll see if it does. Ever. I'm not crazy about that gold area. So I'm going to see if I can kind of get rid of a little bit of that. Let that settle. So I don't know, I don't know what the role the, the bronze plays in it because the bronze doesn't really show, it's just very slight. So I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check all the links below the video. There's PayPal and Patreon if you would like to contribute anything. It's greatly appreciated for the paint supplies and everything that I go through constantly. And there is a Facebook group link. There's also an Arteza link. They're having a Christmas bundle special on their site so if you click on the Arteza link below the video and go there 
you can see their Christmas bundles and also you can get a 10% off coupon code with my name on it, Sandra Let 2 all together and that will save you 10 more percent and I think it's free shipping right now so um, go check out Arteza because they're great paints but um, I really love this and it's going to change as it dries I can tell just from the way the cells are forming I'm not going to put heat on it I'm going to let it just do its thing all by itself but there it is 